Welcome to Championship Circle, your host, Cordell. As everybody know, this has been a tough three days in the sports world. I was going to come and do the show yesterday, but I just couldn't get the words to say to do this show. As everybody know, Kobe Bryant was killed in a helicopter accident Sunday. It, I think it tore up the whole world. Like, I think it had a bigger impact than when Michael Jackson died or equal to it. But I'm going to dedicate this show right here to Kobe Bean Bryant. You got to respect him. Even if you didn't like him on the court, you had to respect what he stood for in the game. Kobe Bryant was a father, an athlete, and a legend. That's just some of the words that used to describe what Kobe Bryant meant to the world. He was an inspiration to the entire generation of kids who idolized him for a role model. Like, everybody wanted to be like Kobe, MJ, or LeBron. Still do. Still do. I remember, I know I put a little joke on Facebook with the guy, a little cartoon guy in the Kobe jersey, shooting paper and trash can, yelling, Kobe, <laughs> you know, you know, we used to do that, sending class, everybody shout out, Kobe, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, man, like Kobe was that. He was that. Iconic. When he died, it seemed like everything just just stood still. It sent a state of shock throughout the world. Because I know when I found out, I was going to my brother-in-law house. Soon I walked in the door. First thing he yelled, because he a big Kobe fan. First thing he yelled, man, you hear that Kobe was dead. I was like, man, the first my, my reaction was, man, Kobe ain't dead. Not Kobe Bryant. So we get, we looking through the internet. I'm all, I see it on Facebook, social media. Like, it's all over social media, but I don't see it on the major, especially sports stations, ESPN, Fox Sports, FS1. I'm not seeing breaking news not coming to my phone. It's breaking news. Like, I got almost every sports app there is. Uh, Bleacher Report. Like, it, no, nothing. Nothing breaking news about Kobe dying. So, it's all over Facebook saying that TMZ said that Kobe died in a helicopter accident. That's the only thing they said. Kobe was dead. By that time... They had everybody thinking Kobe was the only one on the helicopter. So about five, ten minutes later, the story started getting more detailed, getting more detailed. It was it started with it was, I think, four others up there with them. Then a little rumor came out that uh his four Daughters was on up there with him. Then rumors started coming out. Rick Fox was on the plane, died in uh, died in the helicopter. I mean, all kind of rumors. So I ain't know what to believe. So my brother-in-law panicking because he wanting to know the truth. Is Kobe really dead? So I was like, I tell you what. I said, turn to Fox News in California. 
cutting on the fast state. You know, you get all the all the little news channels in different cities. So I said, turn to Fox News in California. If they ain't talking about it, I know it ain't happen. Soon we turn to it. There they go reporting it. Showing the footage of the helicopter smoking. On the bottom of the screen, Kobe Bryant dead in a helicopter crash. It was like everything just stopped, stood still. At that moment, I think the Pro Bowl was coming on. I don't even remember. I know the Pro Bowl was on, but I don't even remember what happened. It seemed like everything just went blank. Like nothing even mattered in sports at that moment. But Kobe Bryant death. So, what really made it the situation worse? Probably about fifteen minutes later, you know, they still getting details about it or whatever. Breaking news come through that it won't five people on the helicopter, but it was nine people on the helicopter. Nine people. Nine people. But they still want the twist of the whole situation. His 13-year-old daughter, his ride-or-die daughter, <laughs> that one I'm going to call it, because she stood by her daddy at the games, everywhere you seen it, the war shows. Gigi, his 13-year-old daughter, the basketball player, I'm going to call her the baby Kobe because that's who he spent his time with. Not because that, I ain't going to say they were his favorite, but she loved basketball. So he kind of catered to her. And she was actually good. Like, go on YouTube and Google her. Gianna, Brian, she, she good. She was good. But when it broke that she was up there with him, phew, that just tore everybody up. It tore everybody up. So, nobody on that helicopter thought that it was going to be their last moments when they left the ground. Sad situation, man. Kobe legacy will live forever. I mean, forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Kobe had one of the greatest careers in sports history. You can't deny that. Kobe got drafted in 1996 as the 13th pick and played until 2016. They just aired his last game last night. When his seat, his finale against Utah Jazz. Why was I watching that game like it was live? Like I never seen it before. <laughs> like I never like like it was just like Kobe was still living. Like I still can't believe that he did. Like I'm just waiting for the reports to come out. It was a hoax or somebody was just joking around, photoshopped the helicopter. I mean, it just don't seem real. It just don't seem real. Just don't seem real. Kobe Bryant. Some of his awards included five-time NBA champion, a two-time NBA Finals MVP, regular season MVP award, 18-time All-Star, four-time All-Star MVP, Nine-time all-defensive first team. See, that's one of the stats that's underrated because people always say, man, Kobe ain't play no defense. Kobe ain't play no defense. Man, this guy was a nine-time all-defensive first teamer. All-defensive. He played defense. Tell you the truth, he only slowed down playing D. In his like last three, four years. But in his younger years, his prime, 
Kobe was a defensive player and an offensive threat. He was two-time scoring champ and a slam dunk champ. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. The crazy thing is about the whole situation, LeBron just broke Kobe's scoring record Saturday night. Broke his scoring record Saturday night. Moved ahead on to third. And Kobe tweeted to LeBron saying, Continuing to move the game forward. Much respect, my brother. Not knowing that would be his last statement to the world. Not knowing. Not knowing that that was going to be his last tweet that he sent out. It going to be to LeBron James for breaking his record. Kobe. Bryant. I mean, when they used to have that little, that little chant, Kobe Bryant slam dunk giant. I mean, Kobe, Kobe was, he was the man. Like, everybody loved Kobe. Like, to me, Kobe and Jordan are always put in the same debate. Always. Everybody, I know everybody say Jordan and LeBron or LeBron and Kobe, but Kobe mirrored his game after MJ. He mirrored his game after MJ. The fade away, the tongue sticking out, the fist pumping in the air after a big win. He... He studied MJ. Like, he, Kobe Bryant might be the next thing to Michael Jordan ever. Ever. I don't see nobody coming close. LeBron, LeBron just in his generational talent. He the greatest in his generation. LeBron, his, his body was different from Jordan. His athleticism was different from Jordan. His killer instinct. I mean, everything was different. But Kobe, it was a mirror. It was like looking in the mirror, Jordan and Kobe. You can't put that brand on everybody. You can't. You just can't. You can't put that brand on everybody. I mean, Kobe meant a lot. Not just to the United States, but he was internationally known. Like people couldn't even, people can't even speak English over there in China, but they chanting Kobe, 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 Kobe. I don't know no English, but <laughs> you got to get some laughter out of this, man. You got to get some laughter out of this. But they don't know no English, but they chanting Kobe over there in China, over there in Europe, over there in Africa. Kobe was the man. He was the man. We lost another legend. I know a couple months ago, the rapper Nipsey Hussle, also from California, he got killed. That sent shockwaves throughout the culture because what Nipsey Hussle did for the community, what he did for hip hop, for what he just did for his, what he did in his lifestyle. But Kobe, whole different platform, whole different platform. But I'm going to take this break. When I come back, more about the remembrance of Kobe being Bryant.
the NBA world will never be the same. It'll never be the same. Teams play. Teams actually pay respect to Kobe Sunday night in different ways. Like the Rockets and Nuggets game. They had a moment of silence before the game. And the crowd cheered Kobe, Kobe, Kobe throughout that arena. Showed their love. Raptors versus Spurs game. Both teams dribbling out the 24-second clock in respect of number 24, Kobe Bryant. They tried to interview Doc Rivers, asking him about how he feel about the death of Kobe. He he was toe up. He couldn't even get his words out. That's the impact that Kobe had on the NBA. NBA players, coaches. Owners, GMs, the whole NBA world was just in shock about the news that Kobe Bryant had got killed. I mean, even down to the younger generation of NBA players, the ones that came up actually wanting to be like Kobe like Trey Young from the Atlanta Hawks he started the game in a number 8 jersey then took an 8 second backcourt violation to start the game for respect to Kobe Bryant and see this this the new generation I seen a lot of the young kids in the NBA, like Trey Young, Luka Donich, Damian Leonard. They was towed up by it. Like players that were close to LeBron, I mean, close to Kobe, some of them. Even set out of games. Kyrie Irving. One of Kobe, I can say, students. Because he taught Kyrie a lot. He didn't even play. He set out Sunday night game. Others set out. Westbrook. James Harden. They set out. They didn't even play. That's how heartbroken that this situation is. And not only the NBA showed respect that day, but the NFL, the Pro Bowl, the news broke while the Pro Bowl had just started. So when they broke the news, they played, they put Kobe picture on the screen at the Pro Bowl and announced that he had died. It's like all the motivation, all the momentum, all the excitement was just drained out that stadium. It looked like the players, the players mind won't even enter football no more. It's like the game was moving slow. Everybody was just on the field. Everybody was just on the field going through the motion. And they interviewed a couple of people, a couple of players on the sideline, like Lamar Jackson. They asked Lamar Jackson about Kobe. And... He said that Kobe had did so much for the game 
and it's hurtful to see something like that happen to a great guy like that. Even the players on the field show respect to Kobe Bryant like the ALC defense they show their respect by getting a team celebration fadeaway shot like all along with fading away for Kobe Devontae Adams when he scored a touchdown he put up the 2-4 sign showing respect to Kobe Bryant. I mean, Kobe Bryant was a living legend. He was one of them ones that you just felt like he's supposed to live forever. Michael Joy, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. Them three will always be legends of the sports world. Them three. And the hero, like people like Shaq, talk about them. Wade put up an Instagram post where he showed his emotions. The Detroit Pistons all wear number 24 jerseys in their pregame warm-ups. Luka Donich wore Kobe shoes in last night game. With the victims, all the victims' names written on them. Even the Grammy Awards, which aired Sunday night, was in the Staples Center. Alicia Keys started the show off by remembering Kobe Bryant. I didn't see the Grammys, but I kept seeing on social media about how Alicia Keys had everybody emotional, had everybody in their feelings. So, I went to YouTube, looked it up, started watching it. I was like, all right. So, she was like, this is for Kobe. And she bust out singing to the end of the road. Everybody that know that Boys to Men song to the end of the road know that got to be one of the saddest songs in the world. That got to be. When she started singing that, I had to cut it off. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I had to cut it off. Because I felt my eyes getting watery. Yeah, I, I did. I had to cut it off. And it's crazy that we feel this much, this much pain for a person that we don't even know personally. That's how you know the impact that he had on the world. That's how we know. Kobe was a humanitarian. He was a good friend. I mean, he was, he appeared on thousands of shows. Thousands of shows. Like he was on uh, Kenan and Kale back in the day. Kobe Bryant made a special appearance. Commercial with Kanye. I mean, he was Kobe Bryant. Number eight with the Afro. I think that was the the best Kobe. <laughs> number eight with the Afro. Call number eight with the Afro a dunk on you. 
But it's like we grew with Kobe. That's why we so attached to him. And it's not that you got to idolize him. Like some people be like, oh, uh, you, you, you got to, like he a God. No, it's not that. It's just, it's certain people that have an impact on your life. And Kobe, you ain't even had to be a basketball fan. You ain't even had to be a sports fan. Like my mama texts me, was like, oh, you hear about Kobe dead? I mean, it the death just shocked the world. We wasn't ready. We wasn't ready. And just the thoughts of not just him and his daughter, but it was another his teammates, GG teammate, and GG teammate, and and the other family. They lost their child too. But it's a sad situation. Just to think that how short life is. Life is real short. So love your loved ones. Give them their flowers while they're here. Because I just can't. I mean, I got three daughters of my own. And I just can't imagine being on a helicopter with one of them. And the helicopter is going down. And all I can do can't save her, can't stop nothing from happening. Only thing I can do is hold her. There's something to think about. God don't make no mistakes. Everything happened for a reason. Use this sad situation, tragedy, and don't take life for granted. Love your your family members. If you got any little petty stuff going on between your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your kids, your grandma, I don't care who it is, friend, I don't care who it is. Just go on and let bygones be bygones. Because life too short to hold grudges. Like one of my boys always said, Tez, you right. Tomorrow ain't promised. Tomorrow is not promised to anybody. So we got to live life. We got to live life, cherish every second because Kobe Bryant and them other, Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and the other seven victims didn't know that their life was going to end that day. They didn't know. So... Let's just take life serious. Go out. It's 2020. No more excuses. If you want to do it, go on and do it. Go on and do it. If it's something you out there want to do, go on and do it. Because tomorrow is not promised. Much respect, praying for the families of the victims, Vanessa, his other kids, his other daughters, praying for you. We're going to miss you, Kobe. Number eight, number 24.
Mamba out. Thank you.